You idiot. You stupid fucking moron. How did you not see it? How did you not know? How would anyone know? You would all make sense now. So obvious. Yeah. A memory wipe is entirely obvious. She didn't tell you. She lied. Can you blame her? Yes, I can blame her. You have every right to be angry. Though what kind of arsehole mistakes brain trauma for feelings? The person who had those feelings is gone dead. Don't say dead. She isn't dead. She never trusted you. Bitch. You hate her. Don't hate her. You love her. You don't hate her. You should. You'll never hate her. Gestalt, the Sheke's finest agent. You've known them forever, but their power is still difficult to grasp. Barricaded the door with milk crates, remember? One of you, two of me. Some other kid, I forget. Remember, speak to one, you've spoken to all. The closer we get to our target. You ain't gotten a concept of me yet. Still thought, well, it was all siblings, not all me. Yeah, well, it takes a while to get the hang of you. Remember how I convinced you? I touched Eliza. And asked if I could feel it. It's your idea. We don't need to make a bureaucratic mountain out of a mistake. It happened intensely and complicated. I'm not denying that I enjoyed it because I did. My coach still smells of rose water. It was a one-time thing. We were drunk. It won't. It, it can't happen again. Okay. Never again. Be honest. Did you come here to see me? Where am I? No. If you did, I, I if you did, we'll be okay. Maybe we're too quick to write this off. Look, don't blame yourself. I'm talking about things you'd only see if you really knew were well. <laughs> no. Or not. Gustav, I... No need. I get it. You found me reaching inside all of me when you're drunk, but in a sober light of day, you can't even look at me. That what happened between us the other night. I mean, I know you said it was a mistake. I don't make mistakes. But you never come near me like that till this week. You're not leaving, are you? I think it's the best I do on the brink of regretful behaviour. Oh, no. You fucked me. To fuck with me. To get me out of the fucking way. And tell me that we belong together. But trust it out with the trappings of love. I'll be captivated. I'll have. So we're not talking. Better we don't. Shouldn't have had a go at you last night. Because? Because if we talk, I'm going to ask you what the fuck is going on. And you won't like where the conversation goes from there. Whatever it is, you can tell me. It's not funny. 
I'll crash the fucking car. That never happened before. Lately, I've been getting flashes of memory. I had one this morning. It was raining and we were scrambling over a hill for some kind of draining exercise. The rain was coming down so hard we took refuge under some overhanging rocks. And this image is so vivid in my mind. You were standing with your back to me, looking out at the downpour. I had an overwhelming urge to touch the strands of hair clinging to your neck, but I couldn't find the courage. Nor do I have the courage to tell you what I have to say now. I'll be starting a new life of my own. The spark I feel with you is real, but I need to figure out who I am away from the people who expect me to be who I was. I want you to know there's nothing you could have done to change my mind. I hope one day you'll forgive me.